Hey folks, welcome to today's video. And today's video is going to be very unglamorous, very unmakeup related. And uh, you will see by the title of this video that I got some very, very bad news this week. And so I wanted to sit down and tell you guys everything that I know so far and what's going on with my sweet Delilah. Um, Delilah, and I have a glass of wine here for a little bit of a liquid courage. I have found myself crying in spurts. Right now I'm feeling okay. I, we got really good news today. So um, earlier this week, uh, I got the devastating news that Delilah has leukemia. And we got her full diagnosis today as a high-risk B-cell, acute lymphoblastic, lymphoblastic <laughs> leukemia, lymphoblastic, I can't say that word. Um, and uh, so she is going to be starting treatment within the next couple of days. So she will be receiving chemotherapy and my child has cancer. Um, so for those of you who are new here, hello, I'm sorry this is your first video that you're seeing for me. If it is, um, please know that as soon as my life can resume to normal, I will be posting content when I can get home, when we get home from the hospital and I'm home more frequently. Um, I'll have time to sit down and film. I do need to film. That is for my, my mental health. So I will be filming, um, but I do have to first and foremost focus on my daughter, Delilah. I will put some pictures of her on the screen for you guys to see. She is 13 and a half year old girl uh, with Down syndrome and she is my whole entire world. She's my universe. She's my everything. She's my only child. She does have two older sisters who are her half sisters and um, they are not my children. Um, but needless to say, this is my baby. And this has been very hard for me. This week has been very hard. I'm gonna take a drink. I'm gonna drink throughout this video because listen, you guys, if you've been where I am, then you know you need, you need, you need a little bit of help. I actually, Oh, that's good. That's a Sauvignon Blanc. I, I needed this, you guys. I really needed this. I am going over to see a few of my friends before I head back to the hospital. Um, I told my husband, I said, I need to go home for a little while. I need to uh, take a shower. I need to wash my hair. Uh, they have the showers in the hospital. Uh, but uh, the water pressure is really bad. And I just was like, no, this isn't going to work for me. So he's like, go home, take, take a break. And so that's what I did. So if you saw my last video um, where I did a long get ready with me, and if you saw my community post, but if you saw my last video, you saw me talking about Delilah in that video and how I was getting worried that something was wrong and I was trying to figure out what was happening with her. Well, I finally bit the bullet and I, and I made a, uh, a appointment with her pediatrician last Friday, so the uh, 16th. I made a appointment with her pediatrician on the 16th, took her in and her doctor, as soon as we got there, looked at her and knew she was pretty pale. She had some what are called petechiae, um, which were some little spots on her face near her eyes. Um, they look like little black or little like, like um, purple spots. Um, and she had some bruising in random places. And I had kind of thought prior to taking her I was going to take her to the doctor's appointment to ask for labs. And so this is this is me. I'm unglamorous in this video, guys. This is my life right now. Like, I took a shower, didn't even dry my hair yet. No, I'm not putting on makeup. I'm going back to the hospital later. There's no need. Um, but when I made this appointment and I went to her doctor, I did say, I really think we need to run some labs because there is something seriously wrong. Delilah was not eating. She had stopped eating solid food. She was drinking okay but she was getting so lethargic and weak and fatigued really quickly and the petechiae and the bruising um, and the appetite, it was just, there were just signs to me that something was really, really wrong. I'm not, sorry, not sorry, I need this. I really, really need this, you guys. It has been um, crazy. So I got the, I got the lab work ordered but Delilah had to fully fast, which means she couldn't have anything to drink, anything other than water leading up to her lab work. So she had had some insurer, uh, and after her doctor's appointment, you know, I took her to the lab and, and they said, we have to wait until she's completely fasted. So Saturday, I took her to get her labs, Saturday morning. 
And after I took her to get her labs, I took her to Starbucks and we got a lemon pound cake for her. And she ate the whole thing. So it was optimistic for me. I thought to myself, oh, you know, I'm gonna get you a treat. Um, and she, she, you know, she ate it. And I was like, oh good, you know, I, I don't want her eating that, you know. That's another thing, don't get me, I'm, I'll go off in the weeds about her thyroid and blood sugar. <sighs> That's another topic for another day. But anyway, um, so we went through Father's Day, we took her, my husband and I, uh, and, went, and Delilah went to a restaurant down by the river in Sacramento to see a friend's band. And when we got out of the car, Delilah was like, my legs hurt, my legs hurt. And we were 100 yards away from the car. And we're like, no, you need to walk. I don't, I wish I hadn't have made her walk. I wish we would have turned around and left if I would have known what I know now. Because Monday morning, so Father's Day was Sunday, Monday morning, um, the doctor called me first thing in the morning. And meanwhile, we had also made an appointment for the dentist to, to check her teeth because she wasn't eating. So we thought there was pain in her mouth. Lo and behold, you know, we made the appointment for the dentist on Monday, but Monday morning, pediatrician calls me first thing in the morning she says I need to talk to you about your lab work your lab work came back it is a mess um and whoops sorry her platelet count is very very low which ex she goes which explains the bruising um and the blood vessels um uh you know showing up um that is um that is low platelets because of low platelets but she didn't say anything to me on the phone about leukemia she just said i need you to go to the emergency room again and i need they, they need to do more labs but i don't want you going to the lab i want you going to the er and i was like okay so monday morning we go to the er she says cancel the dentist appointment she's not going to the dentist that's not happening worry about that later if she has any dental work and she bleeds, it's gonna be a problem because she doesn't have clotting right now because she has low platelets. So I don't know any of them. I'm not a medical person. I'm just, I'm just repeating what I've heard so far. Get there, we go into triage. She said, I'm calling ahead for you so they know to expect you. I said, okay, that doesn't sound good. Got there, they took her back, put her on an IV and, and, um, and did another blood draw. And um, the doctor came to me not long after, and she said, I need to talk to you. Can you step outside? I was like, oh, God, that, you know, she wants me to step outside away from my kid. Um, and she took me around the corner, and she says, I need to tell you that your blood work is showing what are known as blasts, which at the time I had no idea what that means. No idea what that means, but I do know now, now that she has acute lymphoblastic leukemia, the blasts are what are considered premature or immature white blood cells that don't fully form, that just multiply, where they don't grow and become healthy blood cells, healthy white blood cells, they just mature, they just, they just multiply like gremlins. And they are the cancer cells. So, um, this is what they told me. So she said, this means that she, we are, we are going to be sending her down to Sutter Medical Center in Sacramento to oncology. And I said, that means cancer. And she said, yes, I know. So I need you to be prepared for that because it's very, 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 very likely that your child does indeed have leukemia. I, you know, I, I got choked up and I cried for a minute, but I, I guess I went into that knowing that something was wrong. So I was already prepared in a way, in my mind, like I just needed an answer. And I was almost more relieved to hear it than I was devastated to hear it, if that makes any sense. I'm still not happy about this at all. I mean, nobody wants to have their child have cancer. And believe me, I've had my moments. Um, and I waited for them to come but that, that first, that first, that following morning in the hospital, that's when I just lost it. I broke down. But they've continued to take labs. And we did speak to her primary oncologist down at Sutter Medical Center, um, who informed us this morning that she does have high risk B cell. So I think there's different kinds of white blood cells, but the B cell is the one they're focusing on, is the uh, white blood cell, the B, the B cells. 
those are the, the, the blasting cells, which are the leukemia cells. So it's, she's high risk because she's 13, she's over 10. So because she's over 10, she's at a higher risk because she's older. She has high risk B cell acute lymphoblastic leukemia, which he said when he told us this results, he said, this is highly treatable, very curable, high success rate of, um, of, of, of um, you know, of curing it. Now, obviously with any cancer, it could come back, but this was very good for me to hear because they did say that it, it is the most common form of leukemia in children. So we don't need a bone marrow transplant at this time. There's no talk about bone marrow transplants, bone marrow matches and all of that. So thank you Jesus for that because I, you know, he mentioned bone marrow and I mean, they do have to do a bone marrow, they did have to do a bone marrow biopsy along with her spinal tap. And then they also put in her pick line, which her pick line is where all of her IVs go, all of her um, uh, in, uh, transfusions go, all of her chemo will go through her pick line that is inserted into her arm. So here we am, here we are guys. I do not know when I'll be filming again. I do not know what to say right now. All I can say is thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart for all of your loving, kind words and support through my community um, post, through Instagram, um, my creator friends who have reached out to me, God bless you, um, Linda, Katie, um, he, he, um, Karen, they've, you know, all, you know, all, uh, all, uh, commented and reached out and, and, and told me, you know, told me how sorry they are. And I, you know what guys, Delilah is the strongest. She's so small and feisty. She's a very, very small petite girl. So sometimes I worry about her stamina through this process. I'm not going to lie, but she is very resilient and she's very brave. Um, she's very stubborn. So this has been hard so far. Her taking these medicines, they're giving her a thyroid medicine now. Um, her phosphorus count is low. They need to get her phosphorus up. So they've been giving her that. She's barely eating still. So guys, I mean, just keep her in your prayers. Um, treatment's going to begin soon. We will be in the hospital probably for the next 10 days. So we've all been there since Monday. It's now Wednesday. It, feel like an, it feels like an eternity that I've been there. It feels like forever that I've been there. I feel like I've been there for so long. But I'm home right now. Just temporarily, I'm going to go see some friends. Um, just, to, just to get some hugs and some love and some support and some some respite from the situation because it's a lot to take in. But I know that I will have my moments. I know that I will struggle. And I know that once this chemo begins and once I see how it affects Delilah and how, how it takes its toll on her, I know that's when it's going to really hit me. Um, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you don't mind. I mean, obviously, you know what, if it was your kid, you know, um, you wouldn't be able to film either and you wouldn't be able to sit here and put on makeup and pretend to be glamorous. It's the least glamorous thing in the world, cancer. It's, it's ugly. It's awful. It sucks. And this is my life right now. And, um, I don't know when you'll see me again, but follow me on Instagram. I'll be posting mostly there about Delilah's progress. I will try to do Instagram stories. I'm not good at vlogs. I don't have time to upload anything. So I'm just don't even, I'm not even going to go there. So I'm just going to upload this and call it a day. And then, um, yeah, I, I even did laundry when I got home. I just was like, oh, and then I climbed in the shower and washed my hair and my hair needed to be washed. I'm not even drying it. Like I don't even flipping care. Um, and I am just going to take a few hours and then see my friends, get some food, um, get a bottle of wine to take to the hospital because I'm going to be like, watch a movie tonight, something, you know, because I'm basically living there right now. Um, and that's another thing, like, I don't know with my job, I, I'm not sure how I'm going to handle that. I don't get state disability um, insurance or state disability paid leave. So I'm going to have to figure out kind of how financially we're going to be. Her hospitalization is free. 
because she has Medi-Cal and our primary insurance. Uh, so she has, we have good insurance and she, and she also has California Children's Services, which will pick up pretty much every, all of the cost of her hospitalization, which thank God for that. Um, but I probably will not be able to work a lot. So I'm going to have to figure out how to sustain my income or to generate other income or to manage. Um, but I don't want to lose my insurance at the same time. So I don't know what we're going to do yet. Um, it's, it, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's up in the air. It's too new. All of this is really, really fresh. But just keep us all in your thoughts and prayers, you guys. This is going to be a huge battle journey. Delilah will come through it like a champ. I mean, I'm praying she does. She she is resilient. I mean, we're talking about a kid who um, who endured a 10-day hospitalization and almost died from an, uh, from her appendix rupturing when she was bef before she turned three. Like she's been through things before, um, but nothing like cancer nothing like cancer so please pray for us keep us in your thoughts and prayers and i will see you guys as soon as humanly possible okay i love you so so much borhe finger hearts i purple you you guys are awesome and amazing and i don't know what i would do without you i don't know what i would do with my well my friends without my faith without my church without god without my coworkers, without all the people that have reached out to me. It has been monumental and I, I'm overcome with gratitude for everyone's support and love. So just hang on. I'll be back um, sooner rather than later, I hope, but you never know how cancer it's going to go. You just don't even know. The journey is different for everyone and it could be smooth sailing. It could be easy. It could be hard and We'll just have to wait and see. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you soon. Okay.